Welcome to the TradeX Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Tasha Cadence, and here's the seafood news for the week of May 18th, 2020. In this week's episode, we investigate the current state of our ocean's fish populations and our industry's sustainability movement. With proper fishery management, the numbers of our harvested species in our oceans are higher than ever. Speaking with marine biologist and professor Ray Hilborn, he has an optimistic perspective on our fish stocks. I mean, the idea that the oceans are being drained of fish simply isn't true. Uh, yeah. Certainly not in the, in the half of the world that does uh, fisheries management. There, there, in fact, the target species are becoming more abundant. And, and, and even more interesting is there uh, is some work suggesting that even if you go back 100 years, there's actually more fish in the sea now than there were then because what we've typically done is take the predatory fish and harvest them down and they, they dominate our target species and so their prey have become more, more abundant. And so uh, certainly in the places that don't catch a lot of the, uh, what you would call the low trophic level fish, the small fish, um, that there, there may be more tons of fish out in the ocean now than there were 100 years ago. Alaska sort of stands out as having some very big, very healthy stocks and very large stocks. Um, the, the, the place that stands out as having a lot of problems is the Northwest Atlantic, both Canadian and American. Um, I mean, they've got, you know, the New England and Mid-Atlantic have uh, the uh, main lobster. They have the um, sea scallops that are the two most valuable fisheries in the U.S., both doing well. But they also have a lot of ground fish that are not doing well, and uh, that's true in Canada. And it really uh, looks like that's been a combination of both a hi history of, of, of over-exploitation back in the, in the late 20th century and, um, and probably climate change having an adverse impact there. Having healthy target fish populations is a part of keeping our oceans healthy. However, efforts of organizations that uphold sustainability standards tend to put more emphasis on the environmental impacts of fishing rather than population numbers. Sustainability efforts vary widely based on location and species. And while technology increases our ability to produce the most fish we ever have to date, it also allows us to see the effects on our environment more clearly. We were lucky enough to speak with commercial and fisheries manager Curtis Hain from the Marine Stewardship Council about the future of the seafood industry's sustainability standards. So just to give you some background on the MSC standards, it's been developed over 20 years through a really multi-stakeholder process, uh, including the fishing industry, external NGOs, fishers. Um, and we review our standards every five years just to main, ensure it um, maintains the, the level of effectiveness we want it to. Um, and that's really, um, we want to look and see if it's meeting uh, widely accepted best practice worldwide. I should also mention through um, this FSR process, um, it's not required that standard increases. Um, we just want to ensure that it's meeting best practice, it's widely applicable, um, and it continues to be effective. Um, in this fishery standard review, we're looking at uh, a few different topics, which can all be found online, but they include things like ghost gear, um, best practice regulation on stopping shark finning worldwide, um, and then also protecting endangered and threatened protected species. And currently when we look back at fisheries that have engaged with MSC program and certified, about 94% of those have had to make some sort of improvement to either achieve or maintain their certification. Um, looking at population numbers specifically, we've got a few examples, of, well, we've got lots of examples all over the globe but a couple more locally, one would be organ pink shrimp fishery. So after certification, they saw an increase of um, uh, catch per unit effort of about 130% after certification. Uh, looking at the future of, of sustainability of worldwide fisheries, I'd, I'd reflect back on MSC's goal to uh, work towards certify, certifying or engaging with um, over 30% of fisheries by 2030. Um, and really that will be a, a, a really ambitious effort because it will take um, engaging with small scale fisheries, um, fisheries in the global south, really challenging fisheries worldwide. Um, and what we mean um, about engaging is that means that they uh, might be on some sort of pathway towards sustainability. It doesn't necessarily mean 
um, certifying under the MSC standard. Uh, so I think it could include uh, projects like fishery improvement projects, um, uh, pathway projects or pre-assessment projects, which really would form the a pathway towards sustainability for these really challenging fisheries. So I think if we're remotely successful in that ambition, I think we'd really drive a lot of improvement um, in fisheries globally. So we also try to engage the supply chain, work with strong partners like Tradex to um, really um, work towards uh, supplying and selling certified seafood. Um, we also work with consumers and I think that's a big change we're seeing is the supply chain um, and consumers tend to, uh, are continuing to be engaged and really increasing engagement. I think that that will really drive some of this improvement on the water. Um, we really want to uh, reward fisheries sustainable practices and that's how we do it by using our MSC eco label and that's really the basis of our theory of change is strong partners choosing to source certified sustainable seafood and consumers looking for that eco label when they're shopping. So I think we'll really drive a lot of improvement in the next 10 years. Proper fishery management, regulating fishing efforts, and setting quotas and TACs have been very effective means of maintaining healthy and sustainable oceans. But are they helping us meet the global demand for fish? Hillborn explains the complicated reality of the judgment calls we have to make when it comes to the diverse species of our oceans. Certainly, uh, having healthy target fish populations is part of the sustainability. Um, but uh, they tend to put uh, actually quite a bit more emphasis on environmental impacts of fishing. We have the same problems in particularly an example I know well as our West Coast ground fish fishery, where again, they catch 100 species uh, and close to 30 are, uh, are under quota. And we've taken what I view as a misguided approach to trying to, uh, to regulate the, uh, each of those species uh, uh, at, a, at a target level, uh, and what that has meant is that we have dramatically reduced the catch of many of the largest, most productive stocks in order to try to get a few small stocks up to uh, a, a, a target. Uh, and it's come at enormous cost to food production, an enormous cost to local communities, and a local and enormous cost to the fishing industry. Climate change also plays a huge role in the future of our fisheries. While rising temperatures, ocean acidification, and shifting oceanic blobs have huge ecosystem effects, Hain says that one of the largest challenges we will face is fishery migration into other jurisdictions. Hain says this is where strong management and international collaboration will become very important, as our management borders are defined, but the borders of these fish stocks and populations are not. The future of sustainable fisheries is promising, as our industry and governing parties are taking the health of our oceans seriously, and the demand for seafood isn't going anywhere. Tradex Foods takes sustainability very seriously. As such, we monitor and evaluate our sustainable seafood harvesting very closely. In 2019, Tradex Foods achieved a 98% sustainability rating for all of our Sinbad branded and private label production combined. By the end of 2020, we plan to achieve 100% sustainability. Keep watching our episodes as we make an effort to keep you updated on the future of our oceans and the future of sustainable fishery management. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This has been Tasha Cadence reminding you to stay safe, buy smart, and eat more seafood.